One of the things that we've lost now by using speakers is the thing we use in our hearing to separate sounds. The, 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 really, it's the thing we're best at is determining where a sound came from. Because we didn't want to be eaten by the wolf that was over there. It was like, hey, he's over there. I'm going to run that way. So we're good at figuring out where sounds come from. Within about a degree in, in our field of vision, we can, we can determine, we can split two sounds apart by about a degree. So if you remember your math, that's 180 positions in front of you. 180. So you can figure out 180 separate spots and, and say, that one's there and that one's there. Well, that works great if you have an orchestra laid out on a stage. But what happens when you put the rock band up here and you put microphones in front of everything, where does the sound come from? Is that all spread out in 180 different positions? No. We just we crammed them all into one position. So now the thing that we use to separate sounds from each other the most, that's gone out the window. Because we it's coming out of that, you know, beautiful, wonderful array, but basically a single point. There's no more separation between the sounds. And you and you say, well, well, we could just do it in stereo, which is okay. You could, except you can't for an auditorium, because it, like, okay, if you have these two speakers and you play a stereo signal, one out of the left and one out of the right, the only place you could hear stereo where it would sound like things are coming from all different directions is if you sit right in between the two speakers, right in between them, and the same distance from them as they are apart. So how many seats would that be in this room? Uh, yeah, literally, probably, yeah, it would be like zero. You have to sit right there in the aisle. And, and if you moved either way, left or right or back or forward, it collapses. Because if you sit in that pew over there, and I pan the sound over here. Is it in stereo? Anybody think that would be stereo? You probably just wouldn't even hear it. It would just disappear. Because it's not even coming out of over here. It's coming out from over there. And vice versa, if I panned it on this side, all of a sudden it would just be super loud. It would just be like, what, what is that sound guy doing back there? So stereo doesn't work. You can't do it. So we've eliminated the primary way we separate sounds. And this is how I ended up teaching about mixing. Because now, the separation of those parts has to happen back there. That's the only way you can fix it, is back there. 